Right, here we are. I have bar attached out of the roller. I've got no buttons in and the feet go into the straps. Alrighty, so let's just start with those feet standing just nice and planted onto the floor, shoulders down. Take an inhale breath in, drop the chin, exhale, roll all the way down. Make it down towards the floor. Take an inhale breath in, exhale, come all the way up, slide the shoulder blades down and back, find the width to the collarbone. Good, and again. Inhale, drop the chin to the chest, pull in for those abdominals as you draw all the way down to the floor. Inhale and exhale, come all the way back up, step in that spine, one vertebrae on top of the other. All right, so the arms are going to come up to shoulder height, then they're going to go all the way to the ceiling. All right, so it's up to shoulder height and then to the ceiling. So make sure the abs are drawing in. All right, watch not rocking that chest forward as you lift the arms all the way to the ceiling. All right, lift and down up to the shoulders. And then up to the ceiling. Let's do one more set up to the shoulders. All right, lead it up to the ceiling and the shoulders are down. All right, so just take a nice lean over to the one side, stretch it over, grow tall as you come back to the center and over to the other side and come back to the center. We'll do that again. Just lean over and bring it back. Last time over and bring it all the way back. Lower the arms down in front of you, turn the palms and then now face out width across the collarbone. Just do some bicep curls here for a moment. All right, so just a bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Good. Bend and stretch. Go five and four. Good. Three and two. Good. Last one. Now you're going to take the roll of the bar, sorry, and just pop it into the crooks of the elbows. The arms can stay here or you can bring them and hold them down in front of you. All right, you're just going to take your left leg, go out, bring it in. Go down, bring it in. So think about the inner thighs as you bring that leg in. All right, go three more like this. Challenging a little bit now with some stability. So we're going to lift the leg. So we're going to go out, kick, in. Down, kick, pull it in. Down, lift, pull it in. Down, lift. Pull it in, and again. Down, lift, pull it in. Last time, down, lift, pull it in. Other side. So just out and in to start off with. Alrighty? So out and in. Go plie and in. Go four, bring it in with those inner thighs. Alright, two more. Ready? Next time, we're going to add that kick. So go in down, lift, pull it in. So down, lift, pull in. Down, lift, pull in. Go down, lift, pull in. Two more. Down, lift, pull in. Last time. And bring it in. Right, back to the left leg. You're going to step it back and in. So now you're going to put a bit of pressure into that left arm to keep that side coming forward. Or otherwise you're going to twist into it. All right, so just step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. Now we're not just going to stay here, you're going to challenge the stability again here. So we're going to step back and we're going to bring it forward. Step back, bring it forward. Back. Now, if you wanted to, let's see how this goes, but you can take it out, almost what we call that dead pain bar, all right? So yes, you can keep it forward. As well, think about the abs drawing in strong on that supporting leg, or you can just stay there. Last one, take it back, right? Hold it here, square it up, little pulses down. Go four, three, two, one. Now just twist the weight in that back leg, all right? Pull with the waist. It's probably getting heavy on the arms now, but just twist it around the waist. Go three, how about that supporting glute? Two, Last one, back to the center. We good? Other side. So go back and in. Back and in. Excuse me, back and in. Good, and again, back and in. Let's go for two more, like this. All right, then we're gonna bring it forward. So come up, find the balance, take that lunge. Pull through with the abs, take the lunge. Go lift, take the lunge. 
the lift, take the lunge. Now, if you want to go into that dead, kicking that leg out in front of you, by all means do, all right? Good. And again, let me lose my balance on that one, a quick one. All right? Okay, last one. Take it back, hold it here. Little pulses down, press it down. Three, two, one, hold. Now twist and forward. Go twist and forward. Go twist and forward. And again, twist, forward. Go three and two. Use that waist. Good, last one. And bring it forward and down. Fabulous. Right, let's come down onto your mat and lengthen those legs out in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall, width across the collarbone, shoulders over those hips, arms are out in front, all right? Just a straight back with a hinge, and then pull it back up nice and tall, all right? Exhale, lean back. Inhale, bring it up. And again, exhale, lean back. And bring it up. Last time. And hold it here. Scoop into the C curve, hold it. Pull it into the rope either side, all right? So pull, pull, pull. So you get in some work into the waist now, right? Twisting into it, twist, twist, twist into it. Good. You've got five and four. Go three and two. Good. Last one. Bring it back to the center. All right. Bend the knees in, take that bar, pop it underneath so it's down by the bottom. All right, so lie yourself all the way down. All right, scooping into those abs, into your imprint, lift the legs up to a tabletop position. All right, onto that bar. Okay, so stretch the legs all the way up towards the ceiling, and I want to pull a little bit over. All right, so on the exhale breath, scoop into those abs, control as you bring it down. Now scoop into those abs and control to bring it down. Good, and again, scoop into those abs, control to bring it down. Now you're welcome to stay here, keep going. If you wanted to, take yourself all the way over, by all means you can, all right? So if your exhale, pull all the way over, separate the legs a little bit, Roll all the way down, mind that bar, so maybe to push it down. Sweep the legs, bring it all the way in. All righty? You want to try that again, scoop into those hands. Remember, they talk, tips the shoulder blades in contact with the mat. All right? Don't go right onto the net. It's not about that. Scoop it down, scoop it down. Swing those legs to a circle. All right, let's go one more time if you're doing this. If not, keeping that roll over. All right, separate the legs, and then roll all the way down. Push it into the abs to get you down. Control with the abs, control with the abs. Finish the legs for a circle. Fantastic. Good little work into those abs. Right, let's bring the bar back up and over the top here. All right, lengthen those legs long, and reach all the way up behind you. All right, now I'm not coming all the way up, I just want to reach forward slightly, move down, look for the toes, bend the arms, stretch it back down, and lower back away. Inhale, drop the chin, slide the ribs down. Bend and stretch, and lengthen back. And again, inhale, lift, exhale. Good, stretch, watch you're not shrugging the shoulders up to the ears. And again, reach, elbows go wide. Lengthen back, two more, good, bend and stretch, all right, last time, reach, all right, hold it here, bend and stretch, you've got five and four, go three and two and one, all right, bend the knees in, extend the arms behind you, straighten up the one leg up to the ceiling. Sometimes this works for me, sometimes it doesn't. Right, here we go. You're going to scoop all the way up, she said, and lift without trying to drop that straight leg too much, all right? And then roll all the way down and lengthen back. Inhale, exhale, tilt into those abdominals to lift 
and then come all the way down. If you'd rather not keep the leg lifted, you can place the leg back down onto the floor and do this without lifting that leg, all right? So you can always come into here and then lift the leg if you'd rather, all right? Or you keep it lifted. Here we go, last one. Good, bring it down. Let's hold on all the way down. Take the arms, let's extend the other leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Here we go, inhale, exhale, drop the chin. Lift, and then roll all the way down, leg to the back behind you. Drop the chin to the chest, come all the way up, and then lengthen all the way back down. Now we'll do two more, scoop into it, lift, and then lengthen back down. Last time, come all the way up. Fabulous, stretch that chest. And you're not going to stay now, we're going to put both legs, alrighty? So if you can, both legs. All right, inhale, drop the chin, exhale, come up and hold. She said, I'm here to come, I'm not concentrating, I'm like, right, come on all the way back down. All right, exhale, scoop up, find extension, if you'd rather keep the knees bent, that is absolutely fine. Here we go, drop the chin to the chest, scoop into the abs, find the balance, bring it all the way back down. Right, two more, scoop and lift the chin. Bring it down, right, last one, scoop it up, lift and hold it, and lower all the way down with the legs, lower all the way down with the arms, all right? How are the arms going? Quite heavy this, huh? <laughs> right, reach it up. Actually, I will say, I did weigh the end when we had to change, we had to change two of them. They're 800 grams each, so that's 1.6 kilos on either end, plus you've got the bar, plus the resistance, so. It gets heavy after a while. Here we go. Reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Alrighty. Lift that leg up to the ceiling. Hips stay square here. Push from the abs. Just press it down. Lift and lower. Right. Just press it down. Keep the hands above the shoulders. Push down from the abs. You're in your neutral spine. Alright. Go on. You've got four. And three. Go two. Alright. Last one other leg. Here we go. Lift and pull down. Lift and pull. Go lift and pull. And again, lift and pull. Go five and four. Go three and two. Good. Last one. All the way down. Reach the arms back behind you. Drop the chin to the chest as you roll all the way up there, scooping in to those abdominals. Fabulous. Right. We're going to take the legs behind us. All right. So have the roll. The bar is in front of us and the legs behind us. Hands are on that bar, holding it down. All right. And the legs are going to stretch out and reach away. So you're in a plank. Belly button is pulling in. Hug everything to the midline. Keep pulling it in. Right. Now you're going to lift that left leg. Right leg. Here we go. All right, just walk it through, lift and down, lift and down, good, lift and down, lift and down. You've got four and three, go two, right, last one, drop the knees for the moment, take the pressure off the ribs. We're adding on, we're going to do five press-ups, you're going to lift the leg, five press-ups. If you don't want to lift the leg, keep it onto the floor, all right? So lift that leg, you've got five, four, three, two, one, switch legs, here we go, five, four, three, go two, and one, and bring it all the way in, take the pressure off, fantastic, right, let's get rid of the straps off the feet for the moment, and we'll come and bring that roller into play as well. So grab the stand and the roller. Let's put that back down onto the mat and bring that across. Well, good, this works where I am positioned for you guys. Let's it around a little bit because that helps, I think. Put the bar back in on the end. And we'll have a button in on each side, alrighty? Grab a mat, lie down onto your roller. Go 
Alrighty. So start with the hands in the straps here. Roll all the way down, lying down onto your roller. Make sure that hip is well supported and the bottom is there and connected to. Take a moment as you lie here. Neutral spine, tailbone is heavy, little natural curve to the lower back, ribs are drawing in. Keeping everything connected here and down. Right, so let's go with the hands back into the straps here. Take a nice inhale, breath in. And exhale, just draw down into those abdominals. You're going to reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling and above those shoulders, all right? Just take a nice inhale breath. Just exhale, connect down and into those abs. Now you're going to flex over two hands, come over to the one side and bring it back. We're going to stay on this side. Exhale over and bring it back, all right? Exhale, reach the side and bring it back. So try and bring that opposite rib across to the hip. Don't have to come up too high, really work from the waist here, right? Don't just pull the arms down and flex up. You almost try to keep those arms in their same position as you come all the way up, all right? Go for three, and two. Good, last one. And take it back. Now put that hand down onto the floor. You're going to keep the other one. So I've got my left one up to the ceiling. Right hand is on the floor. Lengthen into your imprint and the legs are coming up to the tabletop position. We're going to reach over to that side again and bring it back. Exhale, pull over and bring it back. Good. Exhale, reach and bring it back. Go on, pull into it. Get that waist really working here. Go for four and three. Go two, ready to hold it, little pulses. Go five, four, three, two, one. Draw it back, place the feet carefully back onto the floor. Both hands now back up to the ceiling. Here we go to the other side. Exhale, reach across and take it back. Exhale, reach across and bring it back. Good, exhale, reach and bring it back. Good, exhale, reach. And bring it back with lift and bring it back with exhale, lift and bring it back. Go on, you've got four and three. Go two. All right, last one and bring it back. Place that hand onto the floor and the hand stays to the ceiling. Lengthen into your imprint. One leg comes up to the tabletop, other leg comes up to the tabletop position. Here we go, reach across and back. Exhale, reach and back. Good, exhale, reach. Take it back, good, exhale, reach. And bring it back, and again, reach. Bring it back, go for four and three. Go two, ready to hold it across, little pulses here. Five, four, three, two, one and draw it all the way back. Hopefully <laughs> she's before she pulls up. Right, and pop those feet back onto the floor. Back out to that neutral spine for me. Arms are out to the side. Okay, now once you haven't lifted that rib cage, it needs to stay connected down towards the um, roller. Just pull from underneath the armpits here. And then you're going to march the legs with it, all right? So one leg lifts and down. Lift and down. But lift. And down. So march it through here, wrap it in and around with those abdominals. Pull from underneath the armpits. Good. Pull. And again, squeeze. All right, you've got five and four. Good. Three and two. All right, last one to hold. Bend the elbows, palms facing the waist, took the elbows to the waist. Extend the leg, extend the arms, and bring it back in. All right, exhale, press, and bend. Extend, and bend. Good, extend, and bend. Press in the back of the arms here. Watch the hands not coming too close back in towards the shoulders. It's actually that extension of the arms that get the tricep firing the most, all right? Last one. Bring it in, place that leg down, lift the other one left. Here we go, press and in, press and in. Go stretch and then. You can stay flexed up if you want to, entirely up to you. Your abs are still working well, even though you're led down, right? So trying to stabilize you, particularly the obliques. 
stop you falling off. Go three and two. Good, last one. And bend it in, bring it all the way back down. Reaching those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. We're adding the flexion here now for arm circles. And then bring it back around. Like right. exhale, press as we reach the hands to the hips. Inhale down. Exhale, press down and around. Go press down and around. And again, press and around. Last one in this direction. Let's reverse the direction. So it comes the hips, flex up. Inhale, lower back down. Just take the arms behind you. Squeeze it round and lengthen back. And again, squeeze round and lengthen. Good. Go for four and three. Go two. All right. And last one, squeeze, hold. All right, little pulse up. Go five. Four, three, two, one, and bring it back down. Right, let's put those feet into the straps here. So if you just take one strap onto the foot at a time, right, placing that foot down, bringing the other foot in. Right, find that balance, find the stability, lengthen into your imprint. When you're ready, you're bringing those legs all the way up to their tabletop position. How do you fancy a bit of a balance? I'm not sure it's going to be good today, but let's do things. So days better than others, isn't that right? Okay, so normally we've got hands in the strap. I'm just going to try you with the hands up to the ceiling. Ready? Right, get the concentration, find the spot on the ceiling. I don't know how to do this today, people. Let's try, bring the hands in between. Oh, it's not going to happen today, is it? Can you do it? I hope you can, better than me today. Pressing into those abs. Out for a moment. <laughs> that split second, it's enough. <laughs> Alrighty. It, it's easier with the hands in the straps, I think. Right, let's just start with some bending stretches and bring it back in. Go press. Bring it in. And again, push in the abs. Bring it in. Right, press and bring it in. Good stretch. That's something you can practice anyway, people. Trying to get that stability on here. It's so good. You don't always have to keep moving through exercises. The stability in the stationary position is actually so important. All right, press in the abs. Go three and two. All right, last one. Hold it. Left leg down, right leg goes up. And then switch halfway over to the other side. So you meet halfway in that switch. So nice and controlled scissors. None of these have to be quick. A lot of this has to come from, again, the stability. Because sometimes when we go too quick, we throw ourselves off and kind of don't end up firing your right muscle group. So here you've got a lot of obliques, you bend you going all over the place, pressing deep down into the transverse abdominals, your lowest and deepest abdominal wall. Right, press. Good, switch and switch. Knee halfway out. You've got that split second, you've got to hold those legs. Out onto that long line. Go two more. All right, last one, each leg. And then leap back on that long line. Slide the ribs down, flex up and hold it. Hold it there. Now you've got small circles. I want you to press and around. If you want to put that torso down, by all means do. Press. Good, press into those abs. Go on, reverse it. Round we go. Good. Press it round. Push from those abdominals. Head and neck goes down. You start to pull into the neck. Go two more. Good. Last one. Hold. And bring it all the way in. Good. Stretch the legs all the way up to the seam. Take a moment here. All right. Whip across the collarbone here. Because I find I end up hunching the shoulders sometimes when you push too hard into the floor. All right. Stretching those legs. All right, little tilt to the pelvis and then pull back down. So what we did earlier, this is kind of was, would have been the prep towards it before you took the legs all the way over. So let's just scoop and bring it back down. All right, just lift gently into it, lower abs, bring it back down. Go two more, bring it down. Good, last one, lift and bring it all the way back down. Right, hold it here. Take the legs out to the side, take a stretch now, pull with the inner thighs, bring it back to the centre. 
Take the legs and then squeeze it back to the center. And again, take the legs, squeeze it back to the center. Go three and two, pull that resistance back to the center. Right, last one and bring it back to the center. All right, let's bend the knees, take the feet out of the um, straps, one leg at a time. Return the straps all the way in and gently bring yourself all the way back up. All right, slide up or drop yourself off to the side. All right, so we're gonna come side on, so it's probably easier if I probably swing this around for the moment. I've got the right leg. Maybe this leg's compressed a little So we'll take the buttons out on your um, rollers and take the mat and just place it down in front of you. You're gonna be lie facing your bar. All right, your head is going to be on the roller and you're going to put that strap onto your leg right up by the thigh side above the knee. All righty. So the head is supported by the roller. Knees are stacked, hips are stacked. Watch it's not dropping. You want that distance between the rib and the hip and you've got the connection to the underside on the obliques. All right, let's keep the feet together. We're going to open and close. All right, so just open and close. Watch you're not rocking at the hips here. They literally are staying stacked upon top of one another here. Open and let the inner thighs help you on the way back down. Go for three and two. Right, last one. Now the knee and the foot's gonna line up as you go all the way up and down here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Really engage those glutes. Go five. And four, good, three, and two, last one. Now knee to knee, push open toe to toe. So really drive that strap back, okay? Push open, find the glute here, push open. All right, press it back into it. So you want that external rotation, internal rotation, external rotation, in, press it open. Go four, and three, Go two, all right, last one, and bring it back down. Take the strap, place it onto the arch of your foot, and we're gonna bring ourselves up. So put the forearm along onto your roller, and you're gonna lift yourself up here, prop it up. All right, lift out of that waist, lift out of that side. Here we go, lift and lower. Go lift and lower. So nice, lift out of the armpit, lift out of that waist, lift and lower. Go for three and two. Okay, last one. Grab that strap, place it into the arm overhead. You're going to bring the knee to elbow, stretch it back out. So you're getting into the obliques in the waist. Now pull and stretch. Go pull and stretch. Go pull and stretch. Go pull and stretch. Go five. And four, good, three, and two, here we go, hold it, little pulses, go five, four, three, two, one, draw it down. How are those glutes? Smiling? I thought so. By turn around, face your roller, put your hands onto your roller, all right, spread those fingers and find your plank, hold everything up to that midline, all right. So the foot goes towards the bar, bring it back in. I want those inner thighs, all right? Waist is working to support everything, keep it square. Go on, you've got five and four. Go three and two and one. Bring the legs in and take the foot out of the strap. Let's go over onto the other side. All right, so just swing your mats over to the other side. Push that over a little bit. And the mat comes down by your roller. All right, so strap goes onto the leg, up onto the thigh side above the knee. All right, head goes onto the roller, and you've got some support there. And then the hips are set and the abs are in. Knees are bent, feet stay connected as you just start with the open and close. All right, so just open that top knee without rocking back. So imagine somebody's behind you pushing the hips forward. All right, so open and close. Open and close. Good, open and close. Go four 
and three. Go two. Now take the foot with you on this time. So it goes lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Go lift and lower. Go lift and lower. Go four and three. Go two. Right, last one now. Knee comes in, knee to knee, open toe to toe. So internal, external. Turn it in, turn it out. Go in and open. In and open. Go in and open. Go in and open. Go in and open. Go five and four. Go three and two. Right, last one and bring it down. Right, right down to the foot, so onto the arch of the foot with the strap. Gently bring yourself up so your forearm is down on that roller. And then lift out of that waist, so out of the armpit, out of the waist. All right, here we go. Just lift and lower that leg to start off with. All right, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Go three and two. Good, last one. Take the strap into the hand and reach it up. All right, here we go. Knee to elbow. In and reach. In and reach. Go in and reach. Go in and reach. Go pull and stretch. Go pull and stretch. Go two. Right, last one holding little pulses. Go five, four, three, two, one. And return the strap. Turn around, face your roller, hands are onto your roller, extend your legs behind and hold it here. Shoulders down, watch your hands so up, lift it right into those abs. That leg now just goes out, pull it in. Now squeeze it in. Keep that inner thighs, your obliques on that left side. So the waist on that left side should be really working here to stop you dropping that hip. Go four and three, go two. And one, and walk it in. Take the foot out of the strap. And then you're going to take the mat, place it back onto your roller. Okay. <clears throat> Sitting on your roller, facing the bar. Cool. All right, no straps are on there, for the, no buttons, sorry, are on for the moment. You've got the straps into the hands, sitting up nice and tall. All right, just put the hands right by the side of the hips here. All right, on the exhale breath, I want you to find the C curve, scoop into it, scoop into it, pressing down into those hands, and then pull into those abdominals, sit up nice and tall, here we go. Hands to the hips, scoop it in, scoop it in. Inhale, bring it all the way back up, keep the hands to the hips. Exhale, scoop it down, scoop it down, pull through, scoop it, and then come all the way back up, sit tall. And again, exhale, scoop into it, scoop into it. Keep the hands at the hips. You should be hitting those lower abdominals. Come all the way up, sit tall. And again, exhale, scoop into it, pull through a little bit further, get into those lower abs, and then come all the way, sit tall. Fabulous. Take the arms in front of you. Bend the elbows in line with the shoulders, and the shoulders are down, and the abs are in. Straight back. I tuck my feet underneath the bar. If you want that support as well, it's there, okay? So exhale, straight back. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Bring it all the way forward. Bend back into that bicep curl. So once you're here, what you have to just throw that chest because it will bother that lower back. It's a hinge, all right? So you lean back. You've still got great connection between the ribs and the hips, all right? So wherever you are, keep going, lean. And you've got that lovely stretch, a little bit of a lift of the chest here. Come all the way back up, arms down, bicep curl. Good, lean back. Lift, get a good stretch. Bicep curl, let's just do a couple more, lean it back. Get the abs really inspiring here to do all this work for you. Last one, here we go, lean back. Reach. And then come all the way up, lower the arms in front. Soften the elbows, palms are facing in towards your into a C curve to extend the arms. So still no buttons in, scoop it out. Extend the arms, sweep into those abs, 
to bring you all the way forward, right? So exhale, scoop away. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, pull into the abdominals. Sit tall, bend it back in. Exhale, scoop away. Pull through into those abdominals. Extend the arms. Now pull with the abs to get you forward. Resist in the arms. Last time, scoop away. Extend and then sweep. Bring it up. Sit tall. All right, turn the palms. They're going to go backwards here. All right, exhale, press away, scoop into it, press back. And then you should be able to find in between the shoulder blades a bit more. Scoop away, press, and then bring it back up. And again, scoop away, press, and bring it back up. And again, scoop away, press, and bring it up. Two more. Exhale, scoop away, press. And bring it up, last one, ready to hold it back there. All right, little pulses go five, four, three, two, one, and come all the way back up. Sit nice and tall and roll the shoulders. We're gonna hold that back, and we're gonna dip either side with that, all right? So exhale, roll back. You don't have to worry about the palms being facing back now, so you might wanna just rip the strap, scoop into the seat curve. Gonna go side, center, side, center. Side, center, side, center. Go side, center, side and center. Go side and center, side and center. Good, side and center, side. One more each time, go on side. How are those arms going? Last one, all the way forward, fantastic. Let's just put a button in, bicep curls, all right? So, Scoop down into the seat curve, turn the palms over, reset those shoulders, pull through, scoop away. Here we go, bicep curls, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, good, bend and stretch. Go five and four, go three and two, ready to hold it, pulse it, five, four, three, two, one, come all the way up. Sit tall. Right, grab those straps. So I'm just holding round at the handles, pitching myself forward the abs in, tucking the elbows to the waist. Extend the arms back behind you, bend the elbows, all right? So it's an extend and bend. Extend and bend. Good stretch and bend. Extend and bend. Go stretch and bend. Press the arms back behind you, press. Good, find that full extension, hitting those triceps. Oh, this gorgeous weather. Keep those summer arms, people. Go on, you've got five and four. Good, three and two. Right, last one, hold it, then lift back. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way forward, roll those shoulders back. Okay, right, let's get rid of those mats on that roller. Take the button off as well. And let's just gently do some standing work here just to finish up with, all right? So, no buttons facing that bar. Carefully bring yourself onto your roller, whether your feet are side by side or one in front of the other, entirely up to you, all right? Resetting those shoulders, here we go. Pull the arms out to the side and bring it back down. Exhale, lift the arms. Inhale, control the return. So you are working equally in both directions. Don't just let the straps pull you back down. All right, and again, lift and down. Good, lift and down. Three more. Two. All right, last one. And bring it all the way back down. Reset the shoulders, take the cro straps in front of you, cross over, hold down by where the heart and neck are where it is, all right? Shoulders down the back, abs it in. You're gonna pull up, squeeze back for the row, come back forward, all right? Exhale, lift, and come back down. Good, exhale, lift, and back down. Good, exhale, lift, and back down. Good, exhale, lift, and down. Good, exhale, pull, and down. Good, pull, and down. And again, pull, and down. Go four, and three. Go two. All right, last one, hold it. Now, little pulls back, go. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and uncross those straps. Take them back into your hands. All right, still keeping that balance, keeping those abs in. Let's just work on that balance a little bit more. Take the one leg up, find your balance. Gosh. And then you're just going to take it behind you and then just swing it back up. It does have some days better than other. Go back and bring it in. Good, switch it back and bring it in. And again, switch it back and bring it in. Last time. And place it down. Oh, I think I need practice on that. There'll always be one side better than the other. Here we go to the other side. So the leg comes forward and the leg goes back. Good. Leg comes forward and the leg goes back. Here we go. This one's the better side. Come forward. I'm not moving my eyes though. People <laughs> forward and back. And again. Go forward and back. Last time. Come forward and back. And bring it back onto it. Ta you didn't make it right. Let's go with those feet either side of the roller, pressing those legs into the roller so that you can activate right up into those inner thighs. All right. Take an inhale breath and exhale roll all the way down. Soften the knees if you need to. That's absolutely fine. On the exhale breath, come all the way back up. Bring the arms with you to take a big arm circle and all the way down. Good. Roll back through. Inhale, exhale, stack. That's fine. One vertebrae on top of the other. Take the arms with you for a beautiful stretch. Last time. Here we go. Scoop it all the way down. Let them down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, stack. The spine all the way up. And take the arms all the way around. Return in the straps. Come and sit down onto your roller. All right. Just turn them around a little bit. Let's square it towards you. Here we go. All right. So just sit that nice and tall to start off with, crossing those legs in front of you here. All right. Shoulders over those hips and those abs are drawing in. Interlace the fingers in front, which just push out between the shoulder blades. Then fall all the way back, but just between the shoulder blades, press through. Turn the palms over, lengthen all the way up towards the ceiling. Shrug the shoulders and down. Shrug the shoulders. And down. And again. Shrug the shoulders. Take the arms. Separate them all the way down. Take them behind the roller as you lift that chest. And then bring it back to the centre. Place the hand onto the roller. Lengthen over to the side. Give yourself a really nice stretch here. All the way up. Place that hand down. And reach the arm up and over to the other side. Lengthen over. Take a really nice stretch here. And then come all the way back into the centre. Bring the legs up in front of you. You're going to take the one, fold it in front. All right, then take the hands behind you. All right, and just work into that glute. So make sure the abs are on and you're just going to let that knee drop to the side here, rolling through those glutes a little bit. All right, just hold into it as you push through. Maybe a tender spot that you just want to move into a little bit. By all means, do so. Then you're going to bring that back to the centre, switch those legs, right, and over we go to the other side, leaning into it. All right, lean into it. So put a bit of pressure onto it so you can release any tension around the glutes and get a bit tender from anything you've done today. All right, and then let's just gently bring them all the way back into the centre and then wrap those legs and bring yourself up nice and tall. Stretch them all the way forward. Just let yourself pitch forward here because the legs are elevated you might get a better stretch down the back of the legs and also because it's kind of pressing almost, we're not far off, and shuffle back a little bit, pressing on the top of the um, of the origin of the hamstrings. So you may feel it's getting a bit tighter down the back of the legs. Just appreciate that for the moment. It will release and feel easier. All right, and then pull into the abs, stacking the spine, and then just bring yourself up nice and tall. All right, so stay here, feel really elongated, kind of the head is reaching for the ceiling and the shoulders are down. Take an inhale breath in through the nose, and just exhale through the first lips. And again, take a nice inhale breath in, and just exhale. And there you go, people, you are all done today.